Welcome to this video. In this video, we will explain how to use conventional shell for modeling of the structures. At first, we should consider that the thickness of the structure should be at least tenfold smaller than the other dimensions. We want to model this scoop plate. As you can see, the thickness is smaller than other dimensions and we have distributed load on the plate. We start with creating a part. We should choose an appropriate name for the part. After that, we should decide between 2D and 3D dimensional for sure element because we have translation and displacement in 3 dimension. We should use 3 dimensional modeling. It's a common mistake of beginners that think that because the geometry of the shell is two-dimensional, we should use two-dimensional modeling. For all types of shell modeling, we should choose three-dimensional. The part is deformable and we use shell planner to create the part. And considering that we want to model the problem in the SI meter scale, we enter 4 and continue. Now we draw the two dimensional geometry of the plate, which is a parallelogram, and I use the constraint of parallel between two edges. And also, we have vertical constraint here, and now we add the dimension. The dimension is 1 in this side and 0 0.4 in this side. Now we add the angle between two lines, and the geometry is complete. We go to the property module and create a material for the plate. The material is steel and we use linear elastic. We enter the young modulus in Pascal and continue. We create a section and the section is shell here. At first we insert the name and then we click the shell and the shell is homogeneous here we have some setting at first we should enter the thickness of the shell here for conventional shells we should enter the thickness and choose the material about the integrations or the thickness of the plate we have two options here we can choose before analysis which means before analysis everything is down and this option can be used for linear elastic problems. Another option is during analysis and in this option we can enter the number of the integration point across the section. It could be an odd number and for linear elastic 3 is sufficient. In this problem we could also choose before analysis for calculating the integration across the section. Now we assign the section to the part. The thickness assignment is by the section not from the geometry. Here we can choose the location of the created part in the section of the shell. It could be at the top or at the middle or at the bottom of the cross section or we can enter a value for it. Signing material orientation is an important task in modeling a shell problem. So we should define a datum coordinate system and assign it to the part. At first we create a datum coordinate system. The system is rectangular and we create it by three points. At first we should enter the origin and then select a point on the X line and after that select a point that is located in the XY plane. 
Now we can assign the material orientation to the part by assign a material orientation, picking the part and then using the created coordinate system. We have some extra rotation here and we can use them if they are needed. And the task in the property is completed and we can enter the part in the assembly module and then create a step. The step is for applying pressure to the shell. This step could be when linear perturbation because the problem is totally linear and the geometry when doesn't change. But we choose static general and we have no nonlinear geometry here and the incrementation could be large from the beginning. We also request an important output for the shells which is the shell thickness changes during the analysis. By output and field output request we can edit the field output here and add the shell thickness to the outputs from volume thickness and coordinates tab we can pick the STH which means thickness of the shell this option will add to the ODB change of the thickness during the analysis we go to the load module and apply the boundary condition to the problem. As you can see in the figure, in the left side, the line is totally fixed. It's important here that we notice that rotation of the shell is also important and the pin and encaster are totally different boundary conditions. In the right side of the problem, displacement along the third direction and rotation around the second direction are fixed. As you can see in this figure, for our coordinate system, displacement along Z direction and rotation around Y direction should be fixed. and other degrees of freedom are free in this side. In the next step, we apply the pressure to the upper face of the shell by creating a load and choosing the pressure and choosing the face and the brown side. We enter the value of the pressure in Pascal as our units are SI meters. And now we can go to the mesh module. At first, we apply mesh control. All the mesh should be quadrilateral and we prefer structured here. Then we assign element type. The problem is a standard. We choose shell elements and linear shell for solving this problem. S4R means a 4 node shell with reduced integration. Now we seed the part by creating seed and Finally, we can mesh the part. We go to the job module and create a job for running the problem. We choose a name for the job, which is the name of our ODB and other files.
We can check the progress of the job by monitoring and we can see only two increments are needed for solving this problem. We can go to the visualization now. This is the stress distribution in the shell based on our material orientation coordinate system. We can apply a scale to see the, the formation of the shell better. And also we can plot stress in the local coordinate system. S11 means stress along the edge of the shell. And also we can plot the shell thickness. At, in this problem, shell thickness has no significant change because the deformation is really small. Thank you guys for watching this video. If this video has helped you out, please let us know by a like, a comment or a subscribe.